In this short podcast, I'll look at exercise six from tutorial number six. This exercise asks us to go back to exercise two and actually test the null hypothesis that the observed numbers of families, 22, 85, 104, 102, and so on, equal the expected numbers of families. So what we need to do here is simply calculate the chi-squared value for each of the different outcomes. Now chi-squared is written as the sum of observed minus expected values squared divided by expected values. So for the case of r equals 0, that is going to be the observed value is 22 over here. The expected value is 12.72. Going to square that and divide by 12.72. And if I do that, I will find that my answer is 6.77. Then for the next calculation of chi-squared, it's 85 compared to 63.59. 105 compared to 127.19. 102 again compared to 127.19. 75 to 63.59. And then lastly, 19 to 12.72. So for that last calculation, for example, we would be looking at 19 minus 12.72 squared divided again by 12.72. So those are the values I've calculated here. If we add these up, we'll get a total chi-squared of 28.34. Now we'll need to go to the chi-squared tables and look up the value with degrees of freedom equal to 5 because we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 columns, take away 1, gives us 5 degrees of freedom. The table value is equal to 11.07. So our calculated value exceeds the table value. We would reject the null and conclude that the observed numbers do not match the expected numbers.